What's up guys, Matt with Remedy Pain and Performance. This week we're talking about squatting and improving the depth of our squat and our hip mobility through our squat pattern. I'm gonna show you an easy drill you can do at home uh, with the door frame, but before we get into that, I wanna look at the equation of work equals force times distance and apply that to our squat and also to our workouts. So in order to prove our work or the work capacity we're doing in a workout, the amount of calories we're burning, which I'm sure everyone wants to improve that. We can do one of two things. We can either improve or increase the force we're using. So instead of 20 pounds, use 30 pounds. Or we can improve the distance we travel. So instead of squatting 10 inches, we're squatting 14 inches. So this week we're gonna look at the second half of that equation. So distance, so we're gonna look at squat depth and improving the depth you can get on your squat or making you squat lower. So I'm gonna use a squat rack, but like I said, you can use a door frame at home to do this drill easily. I'm gonna start with my feet a little wider than shoulder width, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a light grip on the support. So I don't wanna to pull too hard on the support. From here, I wanna initiate the movement by sitting my hips back and down. So from here, I'm just gonna move my hands as I get lower, and I wanna hit the bottom of my squat position. Now, if I'm doing this right, I should have a neutral spine, meaning my back should be flat. So we don't want to be in this position. So once I hit my bottom position, I'm gonna rock left to right. And as you can see, that'll sink me down a little lower. And again, I wanna think tall neutral spine as I come out of it. Okay, I can do a second rep. Same idea, sitting back, dropping down, neutral spine, left to right. I want to create space in my hips by rocking back and forth and getting really comfortable in this bottom position. From there, I can lift out of it. Two common mistakes we're going to see. Number one, we're pulling too hard on the support and sitting too far back. Okay, so it's just a nice light grip on the support. The support is there to keep you balanced, not to hold you up. Second common mistake is I see people sit straight down as opposed to down and back. So make sure we're sitting back with our hips and keeping our weight toward our heels. Again, easy drill to do at home to improve the depth we're getting in our squat to then improve the work capacity we're doing it, we have in our workouts. That's all for this week. Hope you enjoyed the tip. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.